loves. So I'm making this pretty cool race car cake for a two-year-old, as you can see the number two right there. And this cake is coming, or it's going from Michigan to Ohio. So I had to make the little car toppers that are going to go around the cake. Usually what I do when I hand cut these things is I have an image next to me or I just Google an image and I kind of freehand it. This way I can make different sizes, different varieties and things like that. So I made several different ones in blue, red, yellow. I also had to make little flags for the cake as well. So I just used that cutter that you see there and then I went ahead and just cut them in half. I also made a variety of those as well. That diamond cutter, pretty convenient. You can buy it off of Amazon and it comes in different sizes. So here I am working on a yellow car as well. Actually, this is more pastel yellow. So the cake is a lot of pastel colors. Now the blade that I am using is called a pen blade. And I feel like it's the easiest to cut fondant with. Most of these items that you see me using are actually on my Amazon storefront. They are under cake supplies. So if you ever see an item, check it out there. For the fondant not to move around while I'm cutting, I do put some vegetable shortening on the counter and that helps it to keep it still using that same diamond cutter to go ahead and make the flags as well. I have gotten asked before, are you okay cutting on your granite like that? This is very good, high quality granite. Honestly, my island is used and abused. And if I show you the granite right now, it still looks absolutely amazing. Smalla, 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 bala hasad. Mashallah, I don't want it to break on me. You know, when we were redoing our kitchen, I had several people. Actually, I couldn't even count the amount of people that would message me and say, are you changing the granite? Are you changing the granite? They all wanted me to get rid of my granite as if they were the ones who were paying for it. Several people called it ugly, outdated, told me I should change it. It's not going to match my cabinets. And I was like, let me guess. You want me to do the white and gray theme? Is that what you want me to do? Not that there's anything wrong with it. It is beautiful. I just don't want anybody to attack me. Yes, what you see me using is an edible black marker. Very convenient when it comes to writing out numbers like that. Anywho, so when we did change our kitchen, it was very hard to kind of remove the granite without breaking it. And a little piece did end up breaking next to my sink, but we just glued that back together. If you look close, it does show. But I love my granite. I don't care what anybody says. You do what makes you happy. Don't listen to others because all these trends for kitchens and house decor and everything eventually goes out of style and just recycles itself. If you tried to stick to the house decor trends that keep occurring every couple of months, you will be in so much debt. And not only that, so much stress because you guys, it's very, very stressful to renovate your house while you're still living in it. I know I sound very spoiled, like, oh my gosh, Kim, there are people dying, but I just <laughs> thinking of renovating anything ever again while you're in the house, woo! Okay, I apologize back to the cake. What you see me doing is just a checkered pattern. There is also a little cutter that you can use that cuts out all those little squares for you. And it comes in several different sizes. It's not perfect, so I do have to go over the lines again with my fondant cutter. But it's much better than the olden days, which I'm talking about 10 years ago, where I used to have to hand cut and measure them all individually. Oh boy, those Minecraft days were fun. <laughs> Making the Minecraft cakes. Ah! Most tedious cakes ever at that time. So now I'm just sticking on these little handmade cars that I did sporadically throughout the cake, you know, trying to figure out where it looks good and where it doesn't. I put some on the back of the cake too, so it can look cute back there. And here is the final product. I'm happy to say it did make it safely to Ohio. And I think it's such a cute and simple race car theme. Thanks for watching.